Okay, now we're going to be looking at cell adhesion molecules, or CAMs. And uh, some examples of cell adhesion molecules would be, uh, well, mainly we're going to talk about calcium-dependent molecules, such as um, integrins. And uh, these integrins are bifunctional, meaning, well, they can uh, bind cells together, um, hold the cells together, and they're also involved in cell signaling, or passing information um, into the inside of the cell and um, my mouse is not working here so but anyway um, remember that these receptors are um, are not binding to a ligand to stimulate things they're dependent on, on calcium to function and um, we can notice the, uh, the structure of this integrin and realize that uh, they're involved in signaling and they have two functions and um, remember that they have a, a role in cell adhesion and also in passing information into the inside of the cell. Uh, other calcium independent molecules would be the IgG superfamily. Um, we're not going to talk about that in this slide but uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about um, integrin signaling. So a little bit more about integrins and integrin signaling. They're an interesting molecule in that they are involved um, in cell growth and cell survival, um, differentiation status, and apoptosis. And they can signal information from the inside out and from the outside in. So they're passing this information from the inside of the cell to the outside, from the outside in. And uh, remember that integrins relay information regarding the status and conformation of the extracellular matrix. And again, the main things we need to remember about uh, integrins is that there is their role in cellular adhesion, that is keeping the cell um, attached to the basal membrane, and also uh, their involvement in cellular signaling. Um, Another thing to think about perhaps is uh, uh, clathrin. Clathrin is a protein that forms vesicles and is involved in endocytosis and endocyte, endocytic vesicles, uh, but is not involved in signaling. Um, so, when I remember the main points about integrin signaling.